Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who are in his possession experience it. But the souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish, foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction but they're going forth from us, utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet in their hope full of immortality, chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offering, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through the stubble. They shall judge nations and, roll, and rule over prophets, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will bless, hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. I will bless the Lord at all times. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their desires, he rescues them. From all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately 
and take your place at table. Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat. Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all that you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Beautiful gospel today, challenging gospel, but of course all of our, all of the, especially the challenging gospels always need to be read in the context of the whole of the gospel. All of the gospel needs to be read in the context of the whole. But I, I, wanna, I want to land first on this last line of the gospel, which at least to my ears sounds like the most challenging part, and I'm not sure if it is or not. But when Jesus here instructs those who are listening to, to say at the end of the day, essentially, after, be, after doing what we have been commanded to do, to say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. And that word unprofitable can be translated in a number of different ways. You know, miserable servants or... Uh, unworthy servants, you know, all, all sorts of ways of, of translating that line. We have done what we were obliged to do. And that can sound, uh, you know, that can sound very heavy. But it's important to see the positive that it, that it does, what, part of what, uh, what, what it drives against, which is also very heavy, which is that mystery or the, the, the burden of our egos which today, and I think any day, is, is that, that thing that, 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 pro, that promotes our will as the will. Why isn't the world bending to my will? It's that ego that says, I am the most important. I am the one who should be listened to. That's that, you know, that feeds us those constant lies which, of course, the moment we step out of our door in the morning, we are reminded we are not the center. We are not the center. We are not the center. So it's that truth. And, of course, the, quickest, the quicker we receive that truth, that we are not in the center, uh, the, the happier we will be. But, but this, this mystery of the gospel goes even deeper, of course, and it, especially when Jesus begins to speak about his commandments. And this mystery here of speaking about the master with his servant and inviting the servants to come and eat and drink, his question is not, is who among you would say to your servant, come here immediately and take your place at the table? And mo most, I think, listening would say, not I. We would not do that. But of course, Jesus is the one who does say that as, as we come before him, as we are gathered here in those essential words, in a, way, in a way they are his central command. Come, take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which is given for you. Take this, drink this. This is the cup of my blood which is poured out for you. That's his, it's his gracious, most wonderful will that we would eat and that we would drink from him. And his words to all of us, to his disciples, to his apostles, to, to all of us, no longer do I call you servants, I call you my friends. <laughs> and, this, and, he, and he serves us. It's the great turnaround, but he demands that he serve us so that, of course, we would receive from him and have his life within us and live his life in, in our world around us. But the first commandment is to eat and to drink, to allow him to feed us all the way, which I, I love this, which makes this last line even more wonderful. When you have done 
all you have been commanded, say. So when we have eaten and drink and drunk and become, become filled all the way with our Lord Jesus, with our Master, but also our friend, when we have done that, then we say, yes, we are unprofitable servants who have been filled, of course, and who are filled with joy. And so, and so to, to respond in the same way is part, part of the invitation that the Lord is drawing us into today. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the leaders of the Church, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit help them in faithfully guiding their people, we pray to the Lord. For all nations and peoples, may the Lord's name be proclaimed throughout the world and his mercy made manifest to all who call him, we pray to the Lord. For the brokenhearted, May the compassion of our God, who offers us solace in our distress, grant them reprieve and healing, we pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the Spirit give us a heart and voice to bless the Lord at all times and to give him glory, we pray to the Lord. And for all of those who have died, especially for John Hockert, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they soon be welcomed to the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. God of love, we bring these prayers before you, confident that you will hear and answer us in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.